In this video, we'll explore the topics and concepts that will be covered in the experiments which accompany the QNET Vertical Takeoff and Landing, or VTOL, trainer. This trainer is designed to teach and demonstrate the fundamentals of VTOL balance and control. The accompanying experiments cover topics of current control, modeling and validation, steady state analysis, and PID control design. Using the QNET Vertical Takeoff and Landing Trainer with NI LabVIEW, we can introduce and investigate real-world applications of these topics, applying theory to simulation and experimentation. The first topic we'll explore is current control. In the current control experiment, we investigate a proportional integral control system where the variable being controlled is the current to the VTOL propeller motor. This type of control is used in cases where the system has relatively slow dynamics, such as a VTOL propeller motor. In this experiment, we'll be calculating the resistance of the system by varying the voltage and measuring the current. We'll also be qualitatively investigating the effects of changing the current control parameters on the measured pitch and measured current graphs. Lastly, we'll be modifying our proportional and integral gains to values calculated from the given natural frequency, damping ratio, and inductance values, along with the resistance value calculated previously. The reference and measured current response will be investigated qualitatively. In the modeling experiment, we investigate modeling and model validation. Aerospace devices are typically very difficult to model in their entirety, so the modeling process usually involves using software system identification tools to determine parameters or actual dynamics. This type of modeling is often used in manufacturing or system maintenance to validate that the VTOL system is operating within allowable tolerances. We begin by finding the current which will cause the VTOL body to reach a vertical position. This is called the equilibrium current because the forces acting on the VTOL are in equilibrium. To do this, we will modify the value of the current offset until the pitch is approximately zero. Next, we'll find the natural frequency of the system by setting our current offset to the value calculated for the equilibrium current. We can then measure the oscillations of the system as this current is applied. To validate our calculated model, we can input the transfer function simulation parameters that were calculated previously. We can qualitatively compare whether the pitch angle of the VTOL body which is measured corresponds to the simulated value. Finally, we'll use the system identification tool to identify the transfer function. To do this, we stop the VI after it is run for at least 20 seconds and observe the estimated transfer function. By using these new values, we can qualitatively compare this transfer function to the one created with manually estimated parameters. In the final experiment, flight control, we perform steady state analysis and investigate PID control design. Steady state analysis is performed when the VTOL body has reached a position of equilibrium and is then perturbed. We can learn about the physics of the system doing this type of analysis. PID control design allows us to find PID gains which will achieve specific criteria such as a certain peak time or percent overshoot. In the flight control experiment, we allow the VTOL system to stabilize in a horizontal position and then introduce a square wave set point. Using proportional and derivative, or PD gains, we can investigate the step response and measure the steady state error achieved. 
We can also perform the same analysis using PID gains. Finally, we can calculate the PID gains required to achieve certain peak time and overshoot values. By using these gains, we can investigate the step response of the system, measure our peak time and overshoot, and verify that our constraints are met. In this video, we explored the topics and concepts that will be covered in the experiments which accompany the QNET vertical takeoff and landing trainer. These topics of interest include current control, modeling and validation, steady state analysis, and PID control design.